This is Steve Ridgell, and I want to tell you that I want to know what's true. In a world that's so confusing, so hard sometimes, I want to know that there's basic truth that is real. And I want to try to live that truth. I want to be right. And in the last couple of videos, I've talked about two places that people often look to to find what's true and right. One is the individual themselves. They decide what is true and they decide what's right and how to live. Now, the good thing about that is you can change your mind and you can make what's true today. If you don't like it in five years, you can change your truth so you can live the way you want to. And even if you really try to be really ethical about figuring out what's right, your experience is pretty limited. And of course, there's always the problem of the individual next door who doesn't see it your way. And some people look to culture to find out what's true. And of course, the problem with that is there is no truth because culture changes. Different places in the world right now have different views of what's right and what's wrong. And of course, even the culture you live in, I'm almost 70, so I've seen a lot of things in the very culture I'm in where right is now wrong and wrong is now right because culture changes. I want to know that truth really doesn't change because if it can change, it's not true unless you believe there's truth today and truth tomorrow. Well, you're right, Steve, and that's why I look to the church to find my truth. Well, I'm not sure church was ever designed to be the arbiter of truth. A church is a collection of people who have decided to follow Jesus, but there are churches who will tell you, we're going to tell you what's right and what is true. In fact, there are some churches that are so well organized, they have conventions and actually vote to decide what's right and what's wrong. And sometimes after the vote, they split because they don't all agree on what was right. And sometimes there'll be churches that'll have one person in a position of authority and he will say what's right and it'll go down through the masses, except then again, you're kind of trusting the individual. And some churches would say, no, we don't have any, anything like that. We don't have a, any kind of authority that just tells us what's right. But you'll see sometimes in individual churches, the force of personality, the individual will even control the church to where it may not be written anywhere, but you clearly know what you're going to believe if you're going to be at that church. You know, it's funny. The one place you ought to trust sometimes gets just as confusing as the individual or the culture. So I don't look to the church to tell me what's true or what's right. And, and even that, if you study church history, there are some times when the church, the organized structure, has looked a whole lot like culture and not like a group of people following Jesus because they change their mind about what's right and what's not right. So I'm not sure church is the place to look or culture or individuals to really find out what's true. I want something bigger than that. I want something that lasts. I want something that's really, really true. And next time we'll talk about where I believe you find truth, but we'll also tell you the problems with it. This is Steve Ridgell saying, I, I want to live to what's right and what's true. And you do too.